Hey guys, Buffering Game Bad today, bringing you a video for our weapon blueprint series. And today we're going to cover the Season 6 Level 100 blueprint reward for the AS Val, turning the weapon into the VSS Ventoras. And the blueprint is called the Malthus. So let's go ahead and we'll back out and show you what level of the tier system you unlock this in Modern Warfare Season 6. Review the weapon, then jump into some gameplay showing off the weapon. So let's go ahead and back out. And you can see here the final design for the Malthus VSS Ventoras build here. Again, this is a nice blueprint for Season 6 level 100 of the battle pass so we'll go ahead and back, back out quick and we'll go all the way to uh the battle pass here and quickly take a look at the weapon itself so again the battle pass tier 100 you see here you unlock it at tier 100 when you reach it you're going to get nikolai the weapon blueprint for the vss ventoras that we're covering today a uh, skin for your truck as well as just a different emblem there for completing season six so you can see there, right there at level 100, the Malthus. So let's go ahead and back out, and we'll see, take a look at this weapon. If I go back to my custom lobby where we have this pre-built. So this weapon, one thing to note, it does come with the red tracers. But let's go ahead now, and we'll strip this down to base. And we'll see here, we have the AS Val that we start with here, using the blueprint for the Malthus. So the barrel here, we're going to go ahead and do the 200mm Osa barrel. This is going to assist with the damage range and the bullet velocity. The cons here are going to be the ADS speed. But you can see here, it's an aftermarket, so a third-party monolithic integral, integrally suppressed barrel with aluminum honeycomb shroud. significantly increases muzzle velocity and range. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And you can see just the difference between the base and the Malthus, right? It's a little bit darker and, uh, I guess, cleaner looking. So we'll go ahead and select that. For the optic, for this one, we're going to want the Dragonov scope here. So this is going to give us that 5.5 times zoom on this. The pros here, again, the zoom level, the cons of the ADS speed. Since we are putting a sniper optic on this weapon now, it is going to be a little heavier and slow down your ADS speed. But you can see the base versus the mouth as you get a, a black variant versus the uh, lighter, lighter, darker, the grayish, I guess you could call it, build here with the base one. So we'll go ahead and select the Malthus. Now for the stock, we're going to go with the vlk vintage stock this one again is the vss stock in real life that wooden stock over here it cosmetically changes the stock this is going to be the pros being the aiming stability the cons being aim walking and movement speed and again you can see this is the base wooden thick stock versus what looks to be more of a uh i don't even know what what, what kind of material you would call that it's really hard to tell if it's just repainted wood or it looks almost like a polymer butt stock has been replaced on this versus the standard wood so we'll go ahead and select that Next up is going to be the rear grip, and the blueprint comes with the rubberized grip tape here, so it's going to assist with the recoil control, the cons here being the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and put this on, you can see the base versus the Malthus, so we'll select that. Now the key attachment here is the ammunition, we're going to want that 10 round magazine of the SPP round, so again these are the 10 round conversion for the 9x39mm, it's not really an ammo conversion, which is interesting, you're really firing the same ammo, however, or the same size caliber, however, this is just a sniper penetrating round, similar to the SP5, with, just with extra penetration. So we'll go ahead and select this. this is going to turn your weapon into only semi-auto, so you cannot full auto this. The pros here are going to be the ADS speed, damage, movement speed, bullet penetration. The cons being the magazine ammo capacity, since you're going from a base of 20 rounds, or even if you put the 30-round magazine there of the SP6, down to the 10-round magazine of the SP5 and convert the weapon to semi-auto to use it as a DMR variant of the weapon. So again, you can see base versus the Malthus blueprint, so we'll select that. That is our final version here, the VSS Ventoras using the Malthus blueprint. So one thing to note, let's just go ahead and back out and we'll go down here to our other class and we'll just build the, uh, the same weapon using the base AS Valve. If I were to put the same attachments on here that we just used, we'll go ahead and just compare the two. So I'll select all the same attachments we have the base butt stock uh rear grab we can do that and the ammo there you go so you can see obviously major differences here between the two weapons mainly just with the color scheme we'll go ahead and select and bounce between the two here so you can see how they compare so you can see there the base as valve turned into vss ventoras versus the blueprint for the malpha so you can see the real difference there it's really just a cosmetic change with the colors there's really no uh heavy cosmetic changes to the weapon itself but if we go ahead and look at it again you get the what looks like the polymer buttstock which replaces the wooden buttstock you get all of this weird looking uh camo or paint here on this now malphus if i'm remembering correctly malphus refers to a in demonology refers to a specific demon so this you have like red in here 
uh, Ventura is being thread cutter. I'm not sure if they're trying to make some sort of connection with a weapon and uh, like a thread cutter or a demon. But again, that's kind of what it stands for. And it's got like the red and black mix here, which kind of makes me think that's what they're going for, obviously, with the name for this. So you can see there really those are the only changes. You get the polymer butt stuck on this versus the wood. You get the camouflage changes that come with the weapon with that little bit of red tint and you get darker versions of the barrel and the sniper optic looks really nice there in the, in the all black also you have a little bit of red there too for the what looks like just wires or cables there on the sniper optic so it doesn't take away from it too much however the blueprint itself does look a little odd it looks almost like a sporting hunting vss which is very strange but if we go ahead and look at the camouflage on this, you can see it, the camos won't cover really any of the weapon besides just small portions of it. So you can see there, putting all these on really not going to make a difference. It doesn't really cover much of the weapon at all. So you can't really uh, cover up the design, which I guess could be a good or a bad thing depending on if you're a fan of it or not. So that's that. One thing I'd recommend is you'll see in the gameplay... I hate this build very much. So I would, I would honestly swap out the rubberized grip tape and probably end up using a Ranger foregrip or even a Merc foregrip to help minimize, or even an Operator foregrip, I believe, offers the best recoil control for this particular weapon. Give yourself a little bit of recoil control on the weapon so you can tap fire quicker. This weapon, you'll see now as we jump into the gameplay here, just using this on Euphrates Bridge. I'm trying to use this as you would as a DMR build, and I'm running the, uh, the Mark 17 CQC on Sling. But uh, you'll see here, first off to note, my game was, was bugging out hard in the beginning of this, of this round. I couldn't reload, I couldn't uh, inspect weapons, so it took until I died eventually to kind of correct that. So if you see me like not reloading or like doing weird stuff, it's because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my game. I can't reload manually. I have to literally empty a full magazine and then hit fire again in order to reload. So that was kind of weird. But um, take it, get away from that. The weapon itself, again, you really need a foregrip on there under barrel attachment with a grip to kind of control this recoil. If you want to tap fire this thing like a proper DMR, like you would, uh, you need it to be accurate. Since the weapon has slow bullet velocity, you really need to be able to hit your shots. And I think the optic here itself is also not a really good optic for this particular weapon, uh, at least without the foregrip on this. I would re honestly recommend something, if you're gonna use this in multiplayer, is really the only place you should be using it. And I think it's a really good medium range weapon. I would use something like a, uh, an integral hybrid or a lethal hammer, anything with a 3 or a 3.25 zoom optic with the option to switch to a red dot sight is on, honestly really good because you can use this in medium ranges and closer ranges effectively. When you get out to longer ranges, you'll see some of the ranges I'm engaging here throughout the gameplay is stretched a little bit for the particular attachments that we have. Not to say the weapon isn't capable of hitting those shots, which it absolutely is because we, we did that in the uh, VSS Ventura's video. For the weapon conversions, we were hitting shots easily. Um, the problem here with this particular blueprint is it doesn't have the underbarrel attachment, and it just cannot control the recoil correctly enough to uh, hit all your shots in succession. You'll see a few of these shots that I'm taking that aren't even necessarily long ranges. I'm missing pretty heavily, and you only have a 10 round magazine, so you want to hit your shots. It's going to be a two shot, two to three shot kill, depending on the range with this weapon, as well as a one hit headshot, again, depending on range. but for the most part, uh, I'm not a fan of these particular attachments. So, I, like I said, I would recommend an operator foregrip or even a ranger foregrip on this or a commando foregrip. Something to give yourself some of that recoil control and stabilization while you're tap firing this. You want to be able to fire this weapon fast um, and hit your shots, especially on moving targets. And the slow bullet velocity on this weapon, you really can't afford to miss shots. And you really need to lead your shots, especially when you get out to those longer ranges. So, that's my personal preference with this. I would put on those longer, I would put on an underbarrel attachment. And then maybe even something like a variable zoom or maybe an interval hybrid or a four times flip, depending on your preference with this. Just you really, if you're shooting long ranges like Warzone, I'd definitely not recommend this because the bullet velocity is too slow to be effective anywhere really outside of close range. So let me know what you think of the attachments. What are your favorite attachments to run on the VSS Ventura's? Again, overall, this blueprint, not a big fan of it. I don't like the attachments. I don't like really using it like this. I really need an underbarrel attachment on this to help control the, the shots on it. It's really not not very effective to use it with this particular setup. But I think if you were to turn it around and go back and look at my VSS Mentor's conversion video, we build it much better and use it way more effectively than this particular blueprint is built out here. But the one thing to note here is you do get the red tracer rounds, which again is pretty cool if you're a fan of that. I'm not a, somebody that really likes or enjoys the red tracers. 
And I don't see myself really ever using this blueprint just because it is pretty ugly, especially uh, when you try and cover up all of the odd insignias on the weapon with camo, it, it won't cover it up. So I think this blueprint's kind of weird. It's a weird choice for a level 100 to camo. Um, again, not the biggest fan of this, but let me know down below what you guys think of this blueprint. Are you a fan of it? Do you like the red tracers? Or what would you have rather seen for the BSS Ventura at level 100? I think it would have been for T100, would have been nice. Do you have the attachments here to make it a, an ASM Val or a VSSM? Ventures, which would have been nice to just modernize it, give it like a nice cosmetic overhaul with the Picatinny rails on the dust cover, things like that, like we see with the ASM Val or the VSSM. Um, rail dust cover for optic mounts, and there's just a lot of different enhancements that have been made to those models versus this. So again, not, in my opinion, not a good blueprint, but if you're going to use it for the red tracers, I would say definitely go ahead. But however, I just don't, I'm not a fan of this blueprint the way it looks or the way it handles with the attachments. But let me know down below what you think. What's your preferred AS Val setup? What's your preferred BSS Ventura setup? And how do you like to run it in multiplayer and or Warzone? If you're running these SPP rounds in Warzone, I'm very curious how you use it, because I've used it a couple of times, and it's definitely, you can get hits, um, but when you're dealing at long, long range targets, you're definitely not gonna be effective. You really need to use it only at DMR ranges, and even then it kind of is, Kind of one of the worst in my opinion just because of the bullet velocity if you're going to try and hit moving targets it can be very very difficult you really need to use your mill markers to lead your target but let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon overall what do you want to see here for the rest of season six going forward into season seven operators weapons weapon blueprints etc and i will go ahead and try and comment back to all you guys who are the early commenters here down below um typically i try to respond to everybody in the videos over the next couple days of, of comments so go ahead and comment down below let me know what you guys think and i'll try and get back to you also if you're liking the content be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content we'll be covering modern warfare obviously the rest of this year into next year for sure do a little bit of black ops cold war coverage we'll see how how good that game is or isn't yet to be determined after the beta so we'll get our hands on that but mainly i think uh i'm somebody that enjoys the modern setting so i will definitely be covering modern warfare pretty heavily going into this next year for sure so Go ahead and comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll leave you guys with that. This is the Malthus Blueprint for the AS Vale, turning it into the VSS Mentoras. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.